G'day Central Highlanders. Um, a couple of uh, topics this week um, I wanted to share with you. Um, firstly and importantly, um, Council at the moment is um, delivering its Youth Leadership Summit uh, in Emerald at the Town Hall uh, this year because of the different restrictions we've had. Uh, we've had to break up um, the Central Highland Schools into a couple of groups. Uh, so between 9.30 and uh, 1.30 uh, for the next two days, um, we're obviously going to have um, our schools, both um, primary and secondary school students uh, and all their leaders uh, attend our conference. So this is an incredibly important uh, event for our, our students, uh, hence our determination to make sure that we can uh, offer this uh, um, event this year. Um, and it's really important that um, our team, our Communities Connected team, are able to actually still engage with our youth to really support their youth strategy uh, and to launch some important strategies this year. Uh, guest speakers, Lockie Smart, incredible um, um, young man who at the age of 18 years uh, broke the world record for uh, flying around the world solo in an aircraft uh, and his incredible story. Uh, and given that it happened in 2016, it still makes him a 22 year old. He was an incredibly engaging speaker today. And I know all the students there were really happy with, um, I guess you'd say the incredible opportunity that he took, um, the initiative that he, that he actually showed and actually wanting to do it. And then obviously um, in the face of a lot of adversity, able to uh, actually make that work and, and come back uh, as a world record holder. So he was a great engaging speaker. But look, importantly, it's about uh, engaging with our youth as a demographic in our community. Uh, it's important to our team, it's important to our council, um, and it's an important contribution to the decision making that we do uh, in terms of our communities, whether they're small or large. Uh, four of those schools presented today, um, one as small as uh, three people or three students at Lockington School, uh, and Ty Grattan talked about um, his uh, school and his region, um, Our Lady of the Sacred Heart School at Springshaw, uh, Gindy State School and uh, Blackwater State High School uh, had the opportunity to pre present and actually pitch to councillors the things that they think are really important in our community. It was a great event, it was well run um, and it's really, really well received by the students, so it's a great day. Secondly, I wanted to talk about um, Are You OK Day? Clearly what I'm talking about today and clearly demonstrated on my very feeble chest uh, but the reality is this is a very, very important uh, observation for our community. Um, it's really, really important to us um, uh, that as a council uh, and that as council as we're supporting uh, those providers in our community that are actually looking at addressing our mental wellness and actually making sure that our organisation, as much as our community, is very much aware of the services, the support, um, and I guess the general uh, livability that we want to provide our people so that we actually uh, I, I guess improve our mental wellness and conditions for I, I guess all of our communities so it's really really important to us. Um, we were able to help um, as a council this year in supporting the new initiative from Headspace. Uh, we've made a $35,000 uh, per annum commitment to the operation of um, uh, that Headspace initiative um, over three years. Uh, the consortium here that is looking for a, a location we're very supportive of them and all of our traditional um, I guess it's a mental health service providers including Anglicare, and they put that on a really good event this morning, uh, which was chalking the paths at uh, uh, the Emerald Botanic Gardens, and that's actually been extended throughout the region, so all of our other communities are having our uh, walking from the shadows um, uh, events uh, over the next day or days coming. Another important, I guess, um, um, consideration that Council has at the moment is thinking about uh, the state election. Clearly, uh, we are just about to enter a very serious competitive uh, state election um, process uh, where I guess um, uh, our communities, our council will be asked for priorities and the sorts of things that we're looking to, I guess, influence our politicians in their pitch to become uh, the next state government. Um, this is very important to us, uh, not only now, but uh, certainly with the, uh, uh, obviously the co conditions of, of COVID-19. Uh, the Central Highlands region has proven to be a very resilient community. However, I guess if we dig into that and look at what that really, really means, um, that's against the backdrop of, of tremendous resource activity that's been able to happen and keep going forward. It's about um, the agricultural industry that's largely been, I guess you'd say, unaffected to a certain extent um, um, by COVID-19 restrictions, but has performed very well for the state and for the nation. So um, our, our line and, and our position at Council will be is certainly to ensure that um, all political parties of any persuasion uh, understand just how uh, valuable this region is to to community uh, to to the state's economy, 
um, and, and obviously the things that we need to have to make sure that keeps happening. So we're balancing things like uh, the fact that uh, we're trying to invest some money and improve um, early um, childhood learning um, at our um, Yamala Street Kindy. We've got an exciting project coming up there, but we're tempering that against the fact that uh, our airport, which is a critical piece of infrastructure, um, still needs to have some vital support to keep it balanced going forward. So uh, these are the sorts of issues, these are the sorts of um, uh, peculiarisms of our region that are very, very important to the state economy. But obviously, it's in all our interests to make sure those sorts of things um, are provided for and balanced. It's about our livability, uh, and it's about obviously making sure that the things we like to do, we can still keep doing well. And we can actually get some more people here to come and help us and enjoy the things that we have here in the Central Highlands.